I'm Wendy Shortland and I'm going to do some printing using this gelatin plate that's been made beforehand. I'm using Matisse Flow because it's nice and fluid and I'm going to use open medium. The open medium gives you more time to play around without the paint drying. And I've got a nice new flip top lid here that I forgot about. Okay, so I'm using about half and half. It, it depends a little bit on the humidity, also whether you want transparency. If you use a lot of open medium, you get more transparency. But half and half works really well. So I'm giving it a good mix up. Palette knife. Then I'm going to put some on my plate. Now, you can be quite economical with how much you put on. If you put too much on, you get suction marks around each area and you don't really want that. It looks okay, but it's better without. So I'm going to roll this up. I'm using a soft roller. And notice how I keep lifting my roller. It distributes the paint better. I want to get a nice smooth coverage on here. You can be quite economical with it. So I've got a fairly smooth covering on there and I turn my roller over and put it down that way which protects the roller. So what I'm going to use to print for the first time is an onion bag. I'll put that right across there this time and let's see what we get. I'm going to line the paper up with this sheet of paper that's under the perspex and let it drop and then just press round it with my hands. You need to be careful that you go right to the edges and because this onion bag gives quite a small pattern, I need to press quite hard to get into all those little grooves. What you can do if you hold it down somewhere, you can have a little look to see how it's coming. And I think that one's come really, really well. So I can lift that off now and I can take another print from what's been left behind. So we just get a little fine print there, but that will show up when you put your next layer of another colour on there. So let's try another colour. I love Southern Ocean Blue with this. soon get to know when you've got the right amount. Should do. So this time I'm going to make some wiggly lines with an ordinary reel of cotton. It's all in how you place the cotton down on the gelatin. A bit 
generous with the wiggly lines this time just for fun. Now I've been doing a little bit of printing on some luggage tags and I'm going to, this one's already got some yellow on it, so I'm going to put the Southern Ocean Blue on top. See what we get. I think these make wonderful gift tags, especially with lots and lots of layers. something else now. Oops, we've still got a bit of thread there. Put that in the water because it's messy. Another thing you can do is use commercial stencils or handmade stencils. Even an alphabet stencil is fun. I'm putting this one on upside down. cut out a manila folder. This one I just made a size a little bit bigger than A4 and I started cutting triangles. So you can also use something like that. this on a small canvas to see what we get. That's an interesting place there. Now I've got a capsicum here and a lemon. there to take the juice out of the fruit and vegetable and also to get rid of excess paint. Start the bag. That's 
a good start. Now talking about making your own stencils, as I said, I cut them out of an ordinary manila folder and then I soak them in cooking oil, just what you use to cook in. Not fancy olive oil or anything, just cheap cooking oil. And after about 24 to 48 hours, they dry out enough to use and it strengthens them. When you do that, don't throw the pieces that you cut out away. Keep all the small pieces because they're useful too. Let's have a nice spread. Old habits die hard. I keep taking the flip top lids off. do yellow first or not always but mostly do yellow first because it's transparent and a bit lighter than other colors but sometimes yellow can also be nice to use last to pull a print together that needs that See what else we can put another coat on. Maybe this blue. It's starting to look really interesting now. Let's try one with a lemon. We haven't done that yet. Maybe on top of this one that we did with the cotton. You keep your gelatin plates in the fridge and they do deteriorate, but sometimes as they start deteriorating, you get wonderful effects. something else beside you to print on too with it. How good is that? Two at once. Oop, that one slipped. You can 
be quite difficult to hold on to the fruit that you're printing with. You need need a I, I probably should have used the bigger piece. Oh look I like that. So that's printing on gelatin. How easy is that? <laughs>